So this is Nehemiah and he is he's having like uh, the gambut of jiggers. His feet covered, totally covered in jiggers. Nehemiah is one of those young men who are affected by drug abuse. He smokes what you call bang. And this is not a, a, a Kenyan phenomenon. It's, it's a global problem that affects especially the young in their millions upon millions. So we, we were here sometimes back and did whatever we could do and he got better. We engaged psychologists uh, to, you know, with, with the counselors and he was okay. Then he went back again to the substance abuse. So he is now very badly off. Lembe mama. Nemia, Niko na hii kangumu ama nitupe? Nemia, washika hii kangumu. Kangu, we kuje kuje chukue mimi nimechoka kukupepea kangumu yako. Kuje uchukue Nemia. Oh my, he is so. Oh, oh my gosh. You know, the bang has affected his mind. She's a no nonsense woman, also called the big mama. <laughs> Big Mama is not taking, you know, she's not taking bullshit. Shika hii. kangumu yako kwa nina kubebea? Suka <laughs> ichini. <laughs> And the hand is so swollen. Ebumambia kuje. Yeah. 
So when, when you are, uh, you know, afflicted to this level, man, you lose it. Remember, these things will be under your skin in their thousands. And no matter how strong you are mentally, the, the mind will just give in. And, and that is basically what has happened to Nehemiah. And the evidence of jiggers is all those eggs, the little white things, those are the eggs. And it means that there are so many jiggers in there. Look at that. It's just bad news. I bet he must be having them at the gas hall. He's just having them at the private parts. Maybe on the penis. Just bad, bad news. Well, the story of Nehemiah is that he had he, had, he once had a wife in Nairobi and his son. So things went south and then he left Nairobi and came back to the village in Vega County, a place called Ebuyangu in Bunyore. So uh, when he came back, he, he came with mind issues. I think when he was there, he got involved with the drugs. Maybe he made the gangs and they, they enrolled him into the drug, you know, circles and... And then he got addicted, so he comes back home a different person. And uh, we, we really helped him. Mm. Oh, she's, she's testifying that when you helped him, he actually, he actually got well. Uyu alirudia bangi, baada ya kumasaidia ndiyo yikafanya hivi tena, sindiyo? Ajawai yacha bangi. Ajawai wacha. Oh, so Nehemiah never stopped doing bang. He always uh, did bang. And bang is marijuana, but this marijuana has, is less with harmful stuff. I think to just make people go high. We know there's medicinal marijuana which is okay, you know, used to treat cancer, uh, used as a sedative, used as a relaxant to just relax you. But what, what they take here is a substance called bang, and it comes from Uganda. Nobody knows where it comes from, but it's a very little thing. You take it and you just go berserk. And that is what he has always been abusing. And when we were here, we helped him stop it for a, while, for a season and rolled him for cancelling services. And he was responding so well. But later on, he went back to his lead back. It's called a, rela a relapse. He relapsed again. And so we come again to try once more because... The nature of love is is that uh, love will not give up on you. Love will come back to the dungeon and pick you up, and and go and find in the hallways and 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 pick pick you up and find in the back lane, and still pick you up and find you uh, incarcerated as a convicted criminal, and still pick you up. Love has no bounds. It goes everywhere. It will always find you in your worst condition. I think the only person who stops the prospects of love is when you die. The grave cannot receive love. People try to put love in the cemetery. That is love misplaced. Because how can you love a cemetery? Because people can, don't want to love the living, then they waste their time trying to speak to the dead. And I think that is a waste of time. I would rather visit an old age home or help a sick person in the hospital than going to the graveyard to cry over people who died. I mean, it's love, but it's misplaced love. And a lot of the people who do that, when you check very deeply, they are quite selfish. Sometimes, not always, but sometimes. Well, I'll stop my running of the mouth and 
try to help this guy. Oh my. 